Congratulations and welcome to your graduation ceremony. You may not realize it, but as well as the shiny new qualification you're about to receive, you're also now part of the VU alumni family. But what is that exactly? I'm glad you asked. It's been a global community since 1916, a network of over 240,000 across 130 countries and still growing. As VU alumni, you'll stay connected and we'll keep you in the loop. Whether it's career support, industry and research connections, personal and professional development and mentoring programs, or exclusive alumni events. And into the future, as your own career grows, you can support other proud graduates by speaking at events, classes and graduations, becoming a mentor, shaping courses offered to future students at VU, placing students for industry experience, or supporting the scholarships fund. So no matter where you end up, you're part of the VU alumni family. So stay in touch. If your contact info changes, let us know. Keep active on LinkedIn, join our Facebook page, and show your VU pride with hashtag VU alumni. Welcome to the VU alumni family. Success happens together. Hello, and welcome to Victoria University's At Home Graduation Celebration. In what is a first for us all, we are here virtually today to celebrate the achievements of our most recent graduates. It is important to our university that we continue to recognise and celebrate your success with you, despite the challenges of distance during this unprecedented time of this COVID-19 pandemic and mark this exceptional milestone for you, our students, in the safest way possible. My name is Naomi Dempsey and I am the Acting Deputy Vice-Chancellor, Academic and Students at Victoria University. And I am also your MC today. On behalf of my fellow Victoria University staff, Chancellor, University Council, Vice-Chancellor, Distinguished Guests, Senior Officers and Academic and Professional Staff. I extend a warm welcome and congratulate all graduates on their achievements today. It is with great pride that we celebrate the success of our students with their families and friends in their homes today. So I would also like to warmly welcome your family and friends who join us with the VU community in today's celebration. I acknowledge that today we are joining you from the lands of the Wunurung and Wurrung of the Kulin, who are the traditional owners of university land. I would like to acknowledge their ancestors, elders and families. As we share our own knowledge practices within the university, may we pay respect to the deep knowledge embedded within the Aboriginal community and their ownership of country. We acknowledge that the land on which we meet is a place of age-old ceremonies of celebration, initiation and renewal, and that the Kulin people's living culture has a unique role in the life of this region. As we gather for this virtual celebration today, I would also like to acknowledge Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people who may be with us. I ask that everyone here today reflects on the meaning of place in your places today, to recognise and respect the many traditional lands on which today's graduation event is being held. Before we commence today's proceedings, I would like to invite Ms Janet Galpin of the Boonwurrung Foundation to deliver the welcome to country. Welcome Janet. Wamanjika, come with purpose to our beautiful home, Land of the Two Bays. My name is Janet Galpin and I am cousin to the Bunwurrung people of the Kulin Nations. I am here today representing Parbanata, Dr Carolyn Briggs AM, the elder of the Bunwurrung and Yalakut Wheelam clan. We are here today meeting in Melbourne on the lands of the Bunwurrung and I would like to pay my respect today to my ancestors, those people who came before us, and to all of you here today for the Victoria University graduations. As a family member of the Bunwurrung, Melbourne's first people, I am pleased to be able to welcome you here today. We are especially pleased to recognise the commitment that you've made here today in paying respect to the spirit of this land and to its first peoples. Through this, you have shown the willingness to honour sacred ground. 
Today we stand on Bunwarang country. This country is unceded land. The Bunwarang are custodians of the land that stretches from Wilson's Promontory all the way to the mouth of the Werribee River, encompassing both of our beautiful bays, Western Port and Port Phillip. So when you are walking or travelling around our country, you have been welcomed by us for all of your journeys and to keep you safe. It is important for all Australians and fellow country and international people to understand and appreciate the history and the culture of the First Peoples of Melbourne, who've played a very significant role in the development of Melbourne, both before and after European arrival. And unfortunately, our First Peoples are unknown to many who live in this land. The struggle to preserve not only their culture and their cultural heritage, but also traditions began with the ancestors in the 1830s. One of the lessons that we should take from this struggle was the way the elders and leaders of the day forged alliances that led to many of the achievements that we take for granted today. And our elders are still today, 186 years later, in continual discussion with the leaders of today to advance recognition and reconciliation for our First Peoples. As people of the continent, now known as Australia, while we may have all descended from different clans and language groups and from countries across the world, we should all support our elders' rights for a voice to government, our rights for a treaty and the truth-telling about Australia's dark history. The word welcome in Bunmurang is Womanjika, as I said earlier, and translates to come with purpose. It is also a contract between the people as the custodians of this land and yourselves to ensure that the laws of Bunjil, our creator, are adhered to and to guarantee safe passage for those who ask. According to tradition, this land has always been protected by our creator Bunjil, who travels as an eagle, and by one who protects our waterways and travels as a crow. Bunjil taught us the responsibility that we have for this land and to always welcome guests. But we have to ask all guests to commit to two promises that we ask of you today. One, not to harm the land of Bunjil, and two, not to harm the children of this beautiful land. If we can commit ourselves to these two promises, we live in a better world. This commitment was made through the exchange of a small bough being dipped in the water and the spoken words, Womanjika. Please welcome Sean Ryan from the Kukuyalanji Nation of Cape York.
Thank you, Janet and Sean. I would now like to invite Vice-Chancellor, Professor Peter Dawkins, AO, to introduce today's occasional address. Thank you, Naomi. Chancellor, graduates, welcome to your graduation day. I congratulate you and warmly welcome you into our VU family as you join the VU alumni, which has over 240,000 graduates around the world. 2020 will be a year to remember for all of us. We've been facing the challenges and impacts of COVID-19. And Victoria University has worked to minimise the disruption to your study throughout the year. I would like to thank you for your patience and understanding through the transformation of our delivery model to digitally supported remote learning and also commend you on your resilience, adaptability and commitment to success during this time. Not even a global pandemic could get in the way of your achievement and it certainly wasn't going to get in the way of us celebrating this with you. I would now like to invite Ms. Karen Jackson to deliver today's occasional address. KJ is a Yorta Yorta woman and the director of the Mundani Baloch Indigenous Academic Unit. She's an advocate for culturally safe spaces that enable Aboriginal people to aspire to personal, family and community goals, land rights and the recognition of sovereign peoples and the delivery of relevant educational programs by Aboriginal people for Aboriginal people. Karen has held memberships in the Victorian Aboriginal Heritage Council, the Victorian Equal Opportunity and Human Rights Commission and the Indigenous Family Violence Regional Action Group. She's also currently co-chair of the Wyndham Aboriginal Community Centre and the Western Suburbs Footprints for Success Early Years Project. Please welcome KJ, Ms Karen Jackson. Hello there, I'm Karen Jackson. Most people call me KJ. Before I start, I wish to acknowledge the Boonwurrung and Woiwurrung as the unceded sovereign owners of the land on which I'm located today. I also acknowledge all the traditional owners of land that all VU graduates are on today. I pay my deepest respect to the Aboriginal ancestors and elders who have led the way in the struggle for rights and recognition. I am Yorta Yorta Baraparap. My great great grandmother was Kitty Atkinson, born 1846 near Mora Lakes in Barma Forest, near Echuca Moama. My great great grandfather was Finneymore Jackson, born 1869 at Mount Hope Pyramid Hill near Bendigo. I'm the director of the Mundani Balak Indigenous Academic Unit at Victoria University. Mundani Balak means embrace people in the Waiwurrung language. Some of you may have heard of Mundani Balak, but I'm betting most of you haven't. Basically, we're an Aboriginal teaching and learning, research, student support and pastoral care and community engagement unit, mainly located at the Footscray Park campus of VU. In early June, I sent an email to the Vice-Chancellor, Professor Peter Dawkins, and the Senior Deputy Vice-Chancellor, Professor Marsha Devlin, with a Moondani Bullock statement that spoke back to white stream media reports on the very public death of George Floyd in the USA. My statement also condemned the continuing deaths of Aboriginal people here in Australia at the hands of police and in police and prison cells, and outlining the impact these events are having on my Aboriginal staff and their families. I used some very strong language, some of which I want to read to you now. The sheer negligence of acts of violence in societal structures and historical oppression against black bodies, our land and culture is a direct result of systemic racism and white fragility. It is not just for Mundani Bullock staff to teach, share our stories, stand tall and make change and protest. This is a space for our university colleagues to show up, be counted, to educate themselves and take action themselves against systemic racism and speak back against acts of violence on black bodies. I just want to let those words sink in for a moment. As part of this statement, our Vice-Chancellor endorsed all of my words and among other things had this to say, I am concerned by the impact of current events coupled with the cultural load carried by Moondani Bullock staff and am in discussion with Karen Jackson, KJ, on the opportunity to help deal with these matters in a culturally relevant way. 
If my colleagues would have told me when I first started working at Victoria University that in June 2020, the boss, well, not quite the top boss, but the boss, the vice chancellor, would agree to my strong language and back me up in this way, I would have said, tell them they're dreaming. But he did, and I am extremely thankful to him for doing so. I'm thankful also to those in VNU senior management who agreed with my words. They all may not have agreed to the words exactly, but they agreed to also endorse my statement. But let me go back a little. I came to VU for two reasons. The first one, very practical. The job was for an Aboriginal person and the location was very close to home. The second was that having worked in state and Commonwealth government departments, Aboriginal units, I realised that I wasn't making a direct difference to local Aboriginal community. The job as coordinator of the Koori Development Support Unit in the Equity and Social Justice Branch at VU felt like it would give me that opportunity. I've been working and engaging with local, local Aboriginal communities since I started at VU, along with creating and delivering Aboriginal courses and units, recruiting and supporting Aboriginal students, building a culturally safe workplace for Aboriginal staff and students. The steps have been slow to get this work done. So slow in fact that it's taken me close to 20 years to be in the place where I can now send an email directly to the Vice-Chancellor and he will read it and he will talk to me about it. I have a lot of patience. I have a lot of patience because black lives matter. But back to the work story. As graduates, I guess a lot of you are already in the workforce. If you are, I imagine you understand the hierarchical and patriarchal nature of being employed. Being a woman, a black woman, adds another couple of layers to these systems that I've always found hard to break through. Another reason why it has taken me 20 years and why I have patience. This is not a talk about breaking through the so-called glass ceiling. This is a talk about how I had to learn to find my voice so I could enact change and stay strong. It has been for me frightening to use my voice. And there are spaces where I still struggle, where I still feel like no one will listen because I'm black, because I'm a black woman. Aboriginal people have long been taught to keep quiet, to stay still, not be noticed, to not fight back, to agree and follow all the rules. Even when those rules discriminate against us, exclude us and erase us. The way I've come through these things is that I have learnt to remember that second reason why I joined VU, to make a difference to local Aboriginal community. Strength for Aboriginal people comes from their relationships with their extended families, elders and communities. I get enormous strength from engaging and working alongside local Aboriginal community in the west of Melbourne. But I also had to remember that a black angry woman makes more enemies than allies that I need allies to help me make change because in the hierarchical and patriarchal workforce and societal systems, I can't do that all by myself. There are so many life-changing events, tragedies and grief that Aboriginal people carry. We carry these deep inside us. I have learnt how to use deep breathing and smoking ceremonies to release what is held. I also, like many other Aboriginal people, take part in public protests because sometimes you've just got to let your anger out on the streets. Because if you don't release and let go of anger and grief, you will become sick. Our bodies are not made to carry such harmful emotions. Our black bodies also get sick from repeatedly and calmly telling our stories and our histories, holding space for non-Aboriginal people to feel comfortable and keeping our families and communities safe and culturally strong. I started this story telling you about the two things that brought me to VU. I want to finish by asking you, as our next group of most deadly and successful graduates, to do two things. I ask these so you can help me not be unwell and you can help me make change. The first is to always remember that white Australia has a black history. Please make the time to go to Professor Gary Foley's Guru website and read up on and share with your families, friends and workplace the black history stories of Australia. 
The second is to use your voice and speak back to practices and systems that you see are discriminating, silencing and erasing black people. A great resource to help you do this is Dr Claire Land's website, Decolonising Solidarities, Dilemmas and Directions for Supporters of Indigenous Struggles. Thanks for listening to me. Well, I hope you listened and I hope my story made sense to you and you feel moved to think on how you can enact change as you progress to the next part of your life journey. Remember, black lives matter and white Australia has a black history. Stay strong, stay safe. Big mobs of congratulations from me to you. Thanks. Thank you, Karen. I would now like to welcome our Chancellor, Ms Gay Hamilton. The Chancellor's role is to chair the University Council and to guide the strategic direction of Victoria University. Thank you. Vice-Chancellor, distinguished guests, senior officers, staff, graduands, graduands' families and friends, I warmly welcome you all to today's graduation ceremony. Today is a day to celebrate. You've taken the opportunity that Victoria University has offered and with hard work and resolve, you have now achieved success. You have demonstrated a capacity to set goals and to achieve them. You've shown persistence and determination. You've learned the art of juggling priorities and many of you have overcome challenges in order to complete your studies. These are not just qualities that have enabled you to gain your well-earned qualification. They are qualities that will assist you as you build your career. This achievement is even more significant this year with the implications of the COVID-19 pandemic and the adjustment you each made to digitally supported remote learning for most of the year. I congratulate each of you for adapting to this style of learning so quickly and remaining committed to your studies so that you could focus on achieving your goals. Getting to today's ceremony is one of many successes you will enjoy in life. Be proud of what you've achieved and know that your parents, families, friends and all the staff who've been a part of your time with us are equally delighted with what you have attained. The University is proud of you, not only for your achievement in completing your studies, but for the tenacity and commitment that you have demonstrated throughout the challenges of this year. Celebrating each of you for all of these qualities is what makes today's virtual ceremony additionally important and special. The moral purpose of Victoria University has always been to provide outstanding educational opportunities for students from every background. While this mission has never changed, the way we are delivering on this mission has changed for the 21st century. Over the last few years, we've introduced the VU way, a revolutionary new way to offer quality educational opportunities in block mode through engaged learning, one subject at a time, in small groups, instead of large lectures. This model has already been tremendously successful with substantial increases in student attendance rates, student engagement, pass rates and student outcomes. The VU block model for undergraduate courses will be fully in place by the end of this year. And we have begun the development of our postgraduate block model for an exciting first release commencing in 2021. We are the only university in Australia using this stunningly effective education method. And we are delivering it at a larger scale than any university in the world. 
The transformation of our learning and teaching at VU, in addition to the block model, has been recognised on the national stage. Our revolutionary digital learning designs and approaches scoop the pool at the LearnX Awards, which identify the best workforce learning practices across Australasia in a field of multinational, corporate, education and public service sectors. We also won the 2018 International Education Association of Australia Excellence Awards in Innovation. Our Victoria University Polytechnic received the Inclusive Training Provider of the Year Award at the 65th anniversary of the Victorian Training Awards, recognising exceptional training providers within the Victorian Government's vocational education and training system who have demonstrated outstanding improvements with regard to the achievement, engagement and well-being of students with additional needs. These awards recognise how VU is embracing a culture of access and innovation and evolving into a dynamic and impactful leader in the tertiary education sector. And that means that you, our students, are receiving a modern university education that is setting you up to take on the opportunities and tackle the challenges of the 21st century. VU is proudly the university for the West of Melbourne. While our reach and aspirations are now global, we remain focused on our vision to deliver value by uplifting communities in which we operate. This includes making exciting changes to our campus footprint that benefit both our students, our staff and the communities we serve. One of our most significant campus developments is that of the new Footscray Hospital that will be built on the car park of our Footscray Park campus, creating a world-class health and education precinct in the West. It is a significant addition to the VU vision of creating Footscray University Town, as well as bringing substantial health and community benefits throughout our entire West of Melbourne heartland. This is one way we are making a difference for our local communities. All of these things will contribute to our goal, to be a great university of the 21st century, with opportunity and success at its heart. To you, our students, you are the next generation of thinkers who will solve local and worldwide challenges and who will make your mark on the world in so many different ways. As you graduate and leave us to embark on your career, consider how you might use the skills you've acquired to strengthen the communities from which you've come or the new communities that you are destined to be part of. Today, over 2,500 of you will graduate. I encourage you to remain connected to the VU community as a member of the Alumni Association in order to continue to build your personal and professional networks. I have no doubt that you will be wonderful ambassadors for Victoria University. Graduands, I am pleased to tell you that awards for all graduates attending this ceremony and in absentia were conferred on the 6th of August, 2020. So by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Council of Victoria University, I admit the duly authorised graduates to the appropriate awards and to all the rights and all the privileges of those awards. Congratulations to each of you. You are now graduates. 
Thank you, Chancellor. I call upon the Dean, College of Engineering and Science, Professor Farzad Khosrowshahi. Dear students, staff, friends, family, and partners, today we are graduating students from the College of Engineering and Science. The College of Engineering and Science brings together engineering, information technology, the built environment, and science. The college has a commitment to providing the best job-ready graduates for a fast-changing world with its staff performing above world-class research and strong links with the community and over 300 industry and professional bodies. I would like to congratulate our graduates for successfully completing one of the biggest challenges of your life and for paving the way for a new chapter in your life. We have been through an unprecedented situation facing every part of society, locally, nationally, and globally. But thanks to enlightenment, science, resilience, and harmony, we have managed to contain it, and we shall no doubt overcome this pandemic. While our thoughts are with those who have suffered, there is no doubt that tomorrow belongs to us. The education landscape is no exception. Your presence here today is a strong testimony to our success. Within one week leading to the start of semester one, we combine all of our resources and wisdom to ensure that you will graduate today. This included a radical review of how we deliver and assess knowledge and how we undertake practical. We brought all of these to your door while paying special attention to the well-being of students and staff. Today, you are what we promised you would become. You are now sophisticated, independent, critical thinkers. You will solve people's problems and drive humanity towards a better life. On behalf of the College of Engineering and Science, I thank you for playing your part. In Victoria, we are ranked first for your feeling about skill development and teaching practices. We are grateful to your parents, to your family and friends, family for supporting you. I thank our staff for not just educating you, but also making you proud by maintaining an impressive college ranking globally in Australia and in Victoria. We all wish you a fantastic and fruitful life and urge you to embrace your membership of our growing alumni family. All the best to you all.
I now invite Kitty Anand Chaipanu Kia to speak on behalf of the graduates. Kit graduated with a Master of Digital Media. He was an active member of the VU community, volunteering his time with VU Volleys, VU Cultural Diversity Reference Network and Study Melbourne. He was a V4U Day team leader in 2018 and 2019, as well as an international host in 2019. Kit's willingness to volunteer and support his peers is representative of his strong values and supportive nature. Amongst his studies and volunteering, Kit also worked as a VU staff member in roles with Student Life and the Library, which he regards as great experiences and a highlight of his time at VU. Kit has a true passion for digital media and is highly regarded amongst industry peers as someone who is incredibly motivated, personable and technically skilled. Please welcome Kitty Anan Chaipanu Kia. Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, fellow guests, academics, teaching staff, fellow graduates, former colleagues, family and friends. My name is Kit. I'm from Thailand. You can call me like Kit Kat Chocolate. First of all, I apologize for my strong English accent. I'm truly honored to be speaking on behalf of my fellow graduates. It's been a long and tough journey as we all knew, but guess what? Finally, we made it. Three years ago, while I was working for a video game publishing company back in my country, I joined one life changing seminar organized by business support firm. There is a special guest speaker from Creative Victoria who mentioned about how the Australian government supports their video game enterprise as an essential export business. I went back home to that night to start my long-term plan. My decision to come here to study the Master of Digital Media at Victoria University was incredible. My dear brother-in-law, who was studying Bachelor of Engineering at VU, recommended me to enroll in the same uni as him. He knew well about my concerns of culture shock. He also knew that VU is the best place to be for a multicultural experience. During my first year of study in 2017, I joined many events supported by VU, such as a first case solely photo exhibition project. But one vital event is the VU office at Winter State Campus. It's an annual student orientation festival. While I was looking for a club to join, I noticed a group of people who call themselves VU Wallies. They are running around with smile on their face, but seem really busy at the same time. Right after I talked with my, one of them about who are they, what are they doing, and why they look so joyful, it's the moment I felt spark joy with volunteering. That's what I'm looking for to deal with my loneliness and homesickness. As a result, I decided to join them, then became a V4U Day team leader on the following year. After a year of happy volunteering, I was fortunate enough to work for my university as a student and staff in two positions. Firstly, I worked for VU Library as a student assistant, meet lovely librarians who helped me with my thesis research. You saved my life, appreciate that. It was fun when I make an announcement at the end of the day. Attention, Platon, the library will close in 15 minutes. Please make your way to the exit. Then I look at people, wake up, and start packing their stuff. I'm just joking, it's never happened, right? Moreover, another significant opportunity was to work with student life and well-being as the equipment assistant. There, I meet the best group of workmates ever. It's great to belong to this marvelous team. Together, we threw several parties and joyful events for VU students and staff. I can say that we are more than successful in encouraging international students to join VU events. This, of course, will be my valuable lifetime memory. I also volunteer for other organizations such as the City of Melbourne, the Bicycle Network, Study Melbourne together with CISA Australia. All I want to say is, it's not a waste of time and effort. 
connections are what I gain as well as an excellent feeling of giving back to the community. It is never too late to do volunteering, especially if you are an international student. Believe me, it's more than worth it. Last but not least, I would like to thank you everyone who assist me in completing this mission. I would like to give credit to my instructor, mentor, classmates, workmates, seniors, juniors, friends, and family. Especially, thank you to my mother and two of my elder sisters who are way there to support and back me up. I love you so much. Mom, how do I look on YouTube? And finally, to all my fellow graduates, I'm so proud of you. A huge congratulations to you and your family too. We not only graduate from our field of study, but also master the study work-life balance. Unfortunately, we have to do the ceremony virtually due to the pandemic, but please enjoy today as you deserve it. Congratulations again to graduating class of 2019 and 20. You are all fantastic. I wish you a happiness and health both in your life and future career. Thank you. Thank you, Kit. I now invite the Vice-Chancellor, Professor Peter Dawkins AO, to read the charge to our new graduates. Chancellor, can I ask all of the new graduates to stand, please? First of all, can I add my congratulations to you all on your graduation? Now I'm going to read out the charge to the graduates. I charge you as graduates of Victoria University to uphold our commitment to excellence in the way you use your knowledge, skills and capabilities in your chosen occupations and industries and in your further studies. To engagement by the way you use your knowledge, skills and capabilities for the benefit of local and global communities. And to access along with equity and respect by the way you connect with people from diverse countries, cultures, socioeconomic and educational backgrounds. Let it be known that you are now a graduate of Victoria University, defined by a commitment to excellence, engagement and access in everything you do. I charge you to make a difference to the world by modelling these values and behaviours and by being courageous in the way you play your part in solving problems in your work and in the broader community. Thank you. You can now be seated and congratulations again. Chancellor, that brings to a close the formal proceedings of this graduation ceremony. I would like to sincerely thank everyone for joining with us today. Congratulations again on your graduation and from all of us at VU, we are proud to welcome you as a lifelong member of our VU alumni community. Please stay in contact, stay safe and thank you. I just want to express my gratitude to my parents, all my relatives in Melbourne and lecturers in Victoria University and last but not least to my girlfriend the, who has always been by my side. To my friends for their encouragement and my family, my sisters for their study hints and my husband and daughters for their patience and support. Thank you. I would like to thank my parents who have worked so hard to provide me with this opportunity. I hope you're proud of me. I would like to thank my partner for being there for me on boring Saturday nights while I studied instead of going out like, uh, like all our other friends. I'd like to thank my mum and dad, my best mates and my girlfriend for putting up with all my crap for the past six years. All the hard work. All the late evenings really paid off um, and you got a fantastic result which you thoroughly deserve. Hello everyone, this degree has been quite enlightening as it helped me to discover some of my hidden potentials that I wasn't even aware of, especially the importance of resilience in difficult moments that I overcame. I'd also like to thank Victoria University as a whole and the teachers and students that were a part of the journey. To Eric and DeHans at VU, thank you for getting me through my two years. I want to thank my mum and dad for absolutely everything. Thank you for always believing in me, supporting me, always being there to help me out, letting me live at home still. I love you guys a lot. Congratulations, Congratulations on graduating. graduating. Very proud Bell of you, darling. Well done. Congratulations.
A big thank you and also my family for their ongoing support. Thank you. My family, my research supervisors and the Victoria University played major roles in propelling me to this position. Congratulations, Alpha. I love you and admire you so much. Assalamu alaikum. I want to congratulate my Alpha, the pillar of wisdom throughout my life. I tell you, I love you. I would like to dedicate my achievement to all my teachers. A big, big thank you to you all. Congratulations for your childhood dream accomplishments. Proud of you. Congratulations. Congratulations, Nitya, on achieving your childhood dreams. Most importantly, I wish to thank my loving and supporting wife, Rabia Salim, and my children, Amina, Anna, and Aisha. This journey would not have been possible if not for them. Congratulations! Thank you all for your support. I wish you a very best of luck, my love. Hi, Dale. Congratulations on your graduation. You should be very proud of your achievement. Thank you for helping me in my solo projects, um, giving me advice, playing on my songs. I really appreciate it. To my family and my partner for all the support I've received from you all. I'd like to thank all my family and friends over the past three and a half years who have helped me get to where I am today and completing my degree. So let's all raise a glass and cheers. And I hope that you enjoy this virtual graduation ceremony, um, probably not what you would have loved, but under the circumstances, um, I really hope you make the best of it. And I for one cannot wait to get out and celebrate with you once this lockdown is over. I'd just like to thank all the teachers and staff at Big Uni uh, for helping us get through our Masters of Teaching. Um, I'd also like to thank all my friends who I met throughout the course, and of course, my family. Thanks to my parents, siblings, and my professors for the endless support and guidance. Congratulations to all the new graduates. Thank you for your ongoing support and guidance throughout my degree and for always encouraging me to be the best I can. I'm very proud of you. Um, I hope you enjoy your ceremony. It's a very special and precious day. I hope you enjoy every minute of it. Yeah, you deserve it. It's a really, really very happy news from you. My congratulations and wish you all the best. My warmest congratulation on your graduation with love and pride today and always. I would like to thank Australia Award Scholarship and Victoria University and all my lecturers. I would like to thank my family, my husband and my kids for being my inspiration, for the love and support. Big hug and love to my husband Milad and my little baby girl Isla. Go mom! Yay! I would like to thank my dear husband, my parents, relatives, friends and my university lecturers. Yay! Hi, my name is Ben Blaine Wilson. I am graduating from Bachelor of Legal Services. I want to thank the Lord Jesus, my wife, my four children and my mother. Thanks. Three years ago, I was sitting in bed, heavily pregnant with my third child, and I said to my husband, I think I might do a law degree. I'll have a bit of spare time because I'll be on maternity leave. Three years later, uh, I have graduated, and I would like to thank my beautiful husband. I'd also like to thank my fellow students for all their help and assistance, and of course, none of this would have been at all possible without my partner, Elise. Hi, Mum. Congratulations, Congratulations on graduating. We're all very proud of you. I'd just like to thank my children, Ruth and Luke, for putting up with me the last four years. Thank you to my wife and children for their support. I'm so proud of all the work that you have done. I can't believe you have kept going and going and done such an amazing job. I would like to thank my parents, my lecturers, my friends and my classmates for to get me to where I am today. Whoa. Whoa. Well done, Go. Mom. Go, Mom. Congratulations, Kirtana. Good luck. My husband Ivan, oh, I could not have done this without all of your support over the past two years. And my beautiful girl Evie, thank you so much for waiting until I finished the degree before you were born. Sisters, thank you so much to Australia. And I'd like to thank my mom for giving me $20 when I needed it the most. I'm so proud to, to know you have a diploma, which is amazing. Um, hope you have all the success in the world and um, hope we can also celebrate in person um, very, very soon. Thank you to my husband, my children, my family, and also friends and colleagues who have supported me within my journey. Thank you. 
to my beautiful mother, my father, my sister and my partner Corey. Thank you all so much for your constant love, support, encouragement and for pushing me to do my best. I would like to thank my husband, my parents, my in-laws and my teachers for helping me to get where I am today. Hey honey, congrats on your graduation. It hasn't been easy, but you made it. I'd like to thank God and my family who supported me in reaching my career goals. My sincere gratitude to all my lecturers and professors. You are absolutely amazing and this is just the beginning of so many wonderful things um, to come your way professionally. So congratulations again. Thank you all for your love, support and encouragement over these years. Thank you, you're awesome. I have achieved this milestone only with the help of my husband, my family, my in-laws and the blessings of my loved ones. Congratulations, Sherry! Congratulations, You've done an amazing job. Well done. Congratulations, Sherry! I want to thank my family and friends near and far for all your help, support, love and guidance. I would like to say thank you to many people, especially my family, my friends and my boyfriend. Also, I want to say thank you to you for giving me the opportunity to have such an amazing experience in Australia. I would like to thank my wonderful family for their support in this long journey to this day, especially my husband for the nights he made me dinners or the weekend he cleansed the house while I had assignment to write. You are a true inspiration to all us full-time employees that you can have a full-time job and complete a certificate. I feel so honoured to graduating from Victoria University. I would like to say thank you to my parents, my friends for Jason memories and loving support throughout my education and graduations. Once again, thank you so much. I would like to thank my friends and family to where I am today. I would like to thank my family, friends and teachers for their incessant support and guidance. I really appreciate the honor that the university has conferred upon me. I would like to dedicate this special moment to my family, friends and my partner. I'd like to congratulate Epon on her marvellous effort in uh, passing the graduation and I wish her all the very best for the future. I'd like to thank my family for their support, but especially my partner Bob for his ongoing and unwavering support and encouragement. Thank you each and everyone for all your love and support. And I would like to thank my friend, family and teachers for all their support and love. I could not have done it without all of you. Thank you. I would like to take this opportunity to uh, show my thankfulness to my family and friends. And I'd like to thank all the you staff and my parents from Nepal to support me to graduate from BU. I would like to say thank you to the Victoria University, my parents, my teachers, my friends, and all the people who have always supported me in my study and life. Hello, Dr. Uncle. I'm so proud that you've passed your doctorate. And happy graduation for all of us. Enjoy your graduation at home.